Hello, I'm Karen Stangroom and welcome to Conquer Crochet. So throughout June, I have been taking part in the June 2022 Crochet Challenge to raise money for Refuge. Uh, Refuge started in the UK in 1971 and they are the leading campaigners against domestic abuse in the UK. The National Domestic Abuse Helpline run by the Refuge is a lifeline that can enable someone to take their first steps out of abuse. And I've been crocheting all the way through June to help raise money and awareness for this absolutely amazing charity. So I thought I'd do a short video of the crochet makes that I've done over June and if you feel inclined and you're able to donate some money that would be absolutely amazing. Thank you. So June was also the third birthday of Conquer Crochet so it seemed fitting that I start off by making a birthday cake. This one is actually the Rainbow Birthday Cake Toilet Roll Holder from Nastasia.com. So if you fancy making that one you can pop over to Nastasia.com and find Donna Wolf's pattern over there. Also in June we had the Queen's Platinum Jubilee so it seemed quite fitting that I should make a Queen Elizabeth II doll. So I used the um, Crochet Iconic Women book by uh, Carla Mitrani and I chose my yarn and I used Rico Baby Cotton Soft DK and I got making. So you always start off with the feet with her dolls and then you work your way up. So you make one foot, then the second one, work your way up the body and then you start making the head. And when you get so far, I think when you've done the nose, then you start working down. And so I made her dress next and then finished off her head and put her eyes in. Finished off the top of her head and made the arms. And the arms are then sewn onto the body later. So I made her hair. So there's the front and the back and she has these gorgeous little curls which sit absolutely beautifully underneath the hat and the hat had two little flowers on it as well, which you can't see in that picture. So these are all the little bits, you can see the flowers in that picture there. So these are all the little parts and there's the queen all made up. And I was really lucky to actually catch a photo of her at Buckingham Palace, which was lovely and she had a lovely weekend. So after such a majestic make, I wanted to make something a little simpler. So I decided to make a snail. Now this picture here caused a little controversy on my personal Facebook page when I posted it. As you can imagine, there were a few comments on what I could be making. Anyway, by the time I added the second picture, things were getting worse. And then I decided to join them together and the result was Michelle the Snail. And I called her Michelle after the lovely School Biscuit on Instagram, who was the first person to donate to the Conquer Crochet fundraising page. So I enjoyed making the Queen so much I wanted to use another of Carla Mitriani's designs and I decided to make the Statue of Liberty. So this was another of Carla Mitriani's designs. This one isn't in the Iconic Women book, obviously, because it's a statue and not a real person. Um, I downloaded this one from her Etsy shop and you can also find her on Instagram. She is Amorpho Crochet, A-M-O-U-R-F-O-U. So again, I wanted to do something simpler after I had finished off the um, Statue of Liberty. So I decided to do something ghostbustery. And I was asking on my Instagram if people could guess what it was and nobody guessed this one. So it starts off with a circle or a ring that you then join together and you make the crossbar as a sort of tube and then you add the ghost in. The pattern was from Trifle and Treasures. This was a free pattern from the internet. I did change some of the facial embroidery because I didn't really like the ones they'd done. I was trying to copy the original design, but here we are. 
So back in my May vlog, I'd said I wanted to make a basket from this book here, which is from Annie's Crochet, and I only had two days left. I knew it would be a tall order, but I thought I'd have a go. So the first day I managed to make the base. Now this is using two strands of um, the Drops Paris cotton. So it's actually quite a sturdy fabric that's made. So the base um, is all just worked in a spiral. So day two I started working at the sides, I've got about 10 more rounds left to go and this is a double spike stitch that's around the sides which is a really pretty pattern, it's giving a lovely effect, I'm looking forward to finishing this one. So if you are in a position to donate some money, whatever you can afford, even if it's just a pound, every pound is needed. So if you go to www.justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash conquer crochet you will find my Just Giving page. I'm going to keep it open for another week so it will be up to the 8th of July 2022 and if you are watching this video after that time then you can go to the Refuge website and you can donate directly there. So I really hope you've enjoyed my roundup of the June Refuge Crochet Challenge. There are two videos on screen to help you on your crochet journey and I will see you over there. Thank you so much for joining me on this one and happy hooking!